show what I did to my rain barrel, which I've been doing this for a long time, planning it. And, uh, I just wish I'd have got it level, but I wanted to show you what I did. I went and took a pump that I got that's really not big enough for this, but it helps out a little bit until I can get another pump poured. Uh, and I put some air in there to agitate the water and I've got my goldfish in there so I'll show you what I got usually I have this on here but I need to shorten it for what I want to do and I have to put a sock on this end to keep the stuff the, these old um, these things right here from coming down through there yeah it's a mess but anyway um, I wish I'd have leveled this thing but it's too full and I can't level this there's no way I can move that so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and what's happening is that tree there is growing a root right there and it's pushing it all up so it's not level no more and I didn't figure I was going to worry about it but I got to figure out a way to allow this water to go down in here with this and I need to drop the level of this I'm sure down here and put some kind of a round elbow going down and back out over there into that tube that goes all the way down to right here that keeps the water from laying uh, or, or yeah laying under the uh, porch or right here I mean it, it's going to anyway that just makes it less overflow goes on the concrete then and goes out the tube that's the plans that don't mean that that's what's going to happen but uh, that's what I'd like to try I've got a spigot on there so that I can just set a bucket underneath there and fill it up with water and I've got a screen on the inside of it and then I've got a drain over here on the bottom about two inches off the bottom and I went and got this pump the other day for a um, from a hexagon tank and it advertised it for a 30 gallon tank well my tank's only a 29 and uh, it's just very very freaking uh, small for my tank so I just went ahead and put the two that I had on it back on it and until I can get another one but anyway it wouldn't fit the main reason is because this here wouldn't fit on my tank rim none of my tanks so because this was thin I was able to use this and if I take and flatten this edge here it would fit down better but I don't want to destroy this in case I ever need to find a way to seal this one day if I ever use it for something different so then I put an air pump right there it goes in and I did some elbows or well tees if I can get it up far enough for you guys to see what I did I just made that so it would be in the center and it's just stuck together real you know real tight it ain't glued or nothing and it actually sits there by itself well it did the first time apparently I got underneath a limb I got a bunch of limbs down in there to be continued I got company
Alright, so what I decided to do was just temporary until we get things the way we want it. Um, I decided to go over in my scrap pile and found this. Now this is just temporary, uh, just to till I can figure out what I want to do. And I'll just put that on there. And all this is is an office chair base. And yeah, it's probably going to rust to death, but until I can figure out another route, um, then we'll go that route. But until then, for temporary, this is what I found. And I just took one of them things that I had laying around that come off of the front wheel that covers the bearing, or where you put the grease in, on a lawnmower. And then I just took some uh, foam and put on there, cut them in strips and used silicone, 100% uh, uh, silicone on it to glue them down. And then I found this to go on there just like that. It's a little dirty right now, but. I gotta clean it up. But anyway, I thought about putting that on there and then then we can take this pot and put on here and plant a vine, a green vine that will grow. I don't know what I would use, but if anybody's got any ideas, let me know. Uh, I could plant something in here that's green leafy vine type deal so that when it grows out it grows down around the bottom of this and eventually hang down the sides that would look cool I mean just ever so often you don't want to close it all in but you know I got to figure out the best method to getting the water from this downspout down into that and I had thought about coming over here on the side and this will also help keep the fish from jumping out uh, if I was to lower the level of this water about another two inches, maybe even, actually, yeah, about two inches, get down to the square where it's flat around the sides, drill a hole and put an elbow here so that the water never goes past that point. It doesn't overflow here because if it overflows here, it's overflowing really fast when it rains sometimes. Sometimes it, it flows in here so hard that it blows the water out the other side. So I want to regulate that somehow. So uh, I'm going to try to make it so that this here comes down and makes some kind of a chamber here that the water will go into and have a spout going out here into the tank and then have the overflow come out while it's going in so it will actually do a water change also so uh, it's a work in progress so um, I haven't decided how I want to do this part right here yet but for now until I do get something that works right uh, I'll have to take the glass off when it's going to rain and even if it rains and it hits the top of this it's not that big a deal because some of the water is going to go down in here uh, it might not be too big of a problem having the water hit the top of this anyway because once it hits the top of it it's going to spread out and it's going to come overflow here everywhere that it's going to go it'll flow into this so uh, It'll work either way. So, this is what I had on there, and I always stuck a sock on here to catch all the uh, leaves and stuff like that. And you got to keep your gutter cleaned out when you're doing this, too, because you don't want your fish to get all that nasty shit in there. But he's down in there swimming around, happier than a lark. He's about that big now. Uh, big old goldfish. The story behind that, I'll tell you. I call him Lucky because he is lucky. Uh, when I got my Jack Dempsey's, they are a predator fish, and I bought 
this fish along with nine others to put in the tank and the Jack Dempsey's wouldn't eat them. So I ended up taking one at a time out of the tank to give to Jake because Jake did eat them and that one for some reason it, it changed colors. He's pure orange right now but uh, when he was in my other tank with the Angel he was turning black, white, and orange. And it's the first time and last time I've ever seen him do that. So my goldfish is, he just presented a specialness to him. So I just decided that we're gonna go ahead and uh, give him a happy home, <laughs> so to speak. But, we don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm actually taking a gamble on his life because I hope I didn't bring him out too early. It, was getting, it got cold the first night I put him out here, but goldfish are pretty resilient. They, they can live out in the river. All it is is a miniature carp. And if you put it out in the river, it will grow to be as big as a carp. So anyway, uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And you guys tell me what kind of plant that I need to get for this that will, what would be the best uh, for planting in here to vine down over top of all this. You know, just every so often maybe put a vine over top of this thing here or whatever I use. I might change and put that other plastic piece on it. I'll show you what I mean. The inside diameter of this top of this barrel is a half inch bigger than, or no, a quarter inch bigger than this is round. And I thought about taking and cutting that out right there because this glass will fit right down inside here. The only problem with doing that is once you put the glass down in here, uh, it would seal this. Well, I'd like to have a little air outlet, you know, like around here, just to keep the oxygen going really good. Uh, plus, you don't want to seal it too much. So, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. It might not be. Uh, maybe I could do this and put a screen on it. I don't know. But, for now, that's what's going to work. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.